Now I'm gonna remove the rear wheel, use a 22 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. I'm gonna remove the wheel. Now I'm gonna take the caliper bolts out, use a 14 millimeter socket. I just grab the caliper, just rock it back and forth a little bit, and slide it up. And I just take the caliper, use a caliper hanger. You can put it around the coil spring. Just set it on the uh, upper control arm. And take the brake pads off. Now we're gonna take the caliper bracket off the bottom bolt is a 13 millimeter socket you're going to use. Take that one off. And the top you're going to use an 18 millimeter socket. Take those two bolts out and then slide the bracket right off. Now I'm take this screw out, just use a T30 socket, and grab the rotor, slide it out. If it's stuck on there, you can use a hammer and just hit in these areas. Just try not to hit um, the lugs. Now I'm just gonna clean up the hub surface. You can use a wire brush or a die grinder, just be careful. Just take some of the rust off. take some anti-seize and just do a nice thin coat. Before I put the rotor on, as you're putting it on, if you have to adjust the parking brake assembly, the adjustment is right here. You can tighten it up or loosen it accordingly. Now take the rotor, just slide it on backwards first. Take some brake parts cleaner and just wipe it off. And flip it around. Make sure you line up the line up the hole with the hole in the hub. Clean this side and wipe it down. And install the screw. And snug it up. Now just take the brake caliper bracket. Take these clips off, just use a straight blade screwdriver. And then clean up some of the rust under here. You can use a wire brush. Just clean it up real good. Spray it down with some brake parts cleaner. Take a little bit of caliper grease. Just put a thin coat right there. Take the new clips. Slide that in position. And just take another thin coat of caliper grease. And then do the same for the other side. Now take the caliper slide pin out, just like that. You can take some brake parts cleaner. Clean this off, wipe it down. If it's extremely dirty, you can spray some brakes parts cleaner down here. And then wipe that out. And just clean that out. And then take the pin and just put some brake caliper grease on there. Slide it in, make sure the seal is properly sealed and do the same for the other side. Now take the bracket, slide it over the brake rotor and put the bolts back in. You can use some thread lock adhesive on the bolts if you want to. 
get those started. Now torque these bolts to 96 foot-pounds. Now we can put the brake pads on. Now for the inside pad, you're gonna use that that has the warning indicator or the squealer. And that squealer is gonna go to the top, just like this. And then the one without the squealer goes on the outside. Now you can take the brake hanger off. Take the brake caliper and use a brake caliper compressing tool and just slowly compress the caliper piston. As you do this, fluid's gonna go through the lines back up into the master cylinder. And put, it, put the caliper over the brake pads. And put the bolts back in. And now we can torque these bolts to 20 foot-pounds. I'll put the wheel up. And put the lug nuts on. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds in a star pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Let's go around again, double check. And now we're gonna pump the brake pedal, nice and slow. There's gonna be an air gap between the caliper piston and the brake pads, so get rid of that air gap. Once it feels good, you're all set. And check the brake fluid level and adjust accordingly. 